Say goodbye to Disney Genie Plus and hello to Lightning Lane Multipass. Could this be the ride reservation system change that Disney fans have been waiting for? If you're new here, we share tips, tricks, and everything you need to know to make your family vacation unforgettable. In today's adventure, we're talking about the exciting changes coming to Disney Genie Plus. So exactly what is this new Lightning Lane Multipass and how does it compare to the old FastPass Plus and the current Disney Genie Plus systems? Let's dive in. First, let's break down the basics. The new Lightning Lane Multipass is designed to streamline your Disney vacation. What it should do is to bring down the stress level of planning your Walt Disney trip in advance of your trip and not on your trip. And the way that I've been thinking about this is as a blend of the old FastPass Plus and the current Disney Genie Plus systems. With the new Lightning Lane Multipass system, Disney's trying to address some of the issues I've personally had during planning and actually on our trips. And that is, if I want to purchase Disney Genie Plus and grab a virtual queue to say Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm trying to juggle both of those things at 6.59 a.m. I have to decide, what am I doing first? grabbing that virtual queue or purchasing the Disney Genie Plus so that I can grab a decent time for one of those hard to get rides like Peter Pan or Jungle Cruise. What I'm hoping is that this new process will solve at least two of those three challenges for me. And here's how it's supposed to work. For most guests, if you're staying on Disney property or at one of their select resort hotel partners, you can purchase your Lightning Lane Multipass seven days in advance of your stay. Most other guests may purchase their Lightning Lane Multipasses three days in advance as long as they have valid theme park admission. This does include annual pass holders and other types of admission. In either event, you may make your Lightning Lane Multipass purchase at 7 a.m. on the first day that you were eligible. That's right, once you're eligible, you can make your purchase of your Lightning Lane Multipass and select up to three rides and attractions per day for the entire length of your stay, up to 14 days out. Finding this video interesting and helpful so far? Please go ahead and give us a like. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing for more tips and tricks to help you plan your family vacations. And this is where this whole system starts to give me the FastPass Plus vibes. Similar to the old FastPass system, they bought back the tiers. So for example, if we're looking at Magic Kingdom, you can make only one selection from tier A. So that would include a selection from Big Thunder, Jungle Cruise, Tiana's, Space Mountain, or Peter Pan. Then you can choose two rides and selections from the remaining in tier B, or you can make all three of your Lightning Lane Multipass selections from that second tier. The only exception to this would be Animal Kingdom where all of the rides are in a single tier. Similar to the current Disney Genie Plus system, once you either tap into your first selection or the arrival window passes, you can then make another Lightning Lane Multipass selection. And you can modify your selections by changing the park, the date, the ride or experience, and your arrival window, all subject to availability. Now, if you happen to have a park hopper, you can choose to use Lightning Lane Multipass in more than one park. What wasn't crystal clear from my research is exactly how much this would cost you. In today's Genie Plus world, purchasing Genie Plus for more than one park does cost more than a single park purchase. My best guess here is that we can expect to see one of two things happen. Either they are going to raise the overall price of a multi-park or a park hopper option with the Lightning Lane Multipass, or we may find that they have raised the price of Lightning Lane Multipass in general to compensate for the multi-park use. And now what about Disney Photo Pass Plus? In case you didn't know, that was a perk of purchasing Disney Genie Plus. I'm happy to report that that perk does remain with Lightning Lane Multipass, and if you're not using that perk, you absolutely should. Now all of this talk about single versus multi-park use brings us right back down to the heart of the matter. How much is all of this going to cost us? According to the Disney website, we won't know the exact pricing of any of this until we open up our My Disney Experience apps on July 24th. However, they have indicated that similar to today's Genie Plus experience, we can expect to see that the prices will vary day to day, 
park to park. In essence, it's surge pricing for the busier days and the busier seasons. Let's not forget about the current individual Lightning Lane purchases. These are the extra pay to skip the line options for the premier rides in Disney World theme parks. And no, these rides are not included in today's Disney Genie Plus system, nor will they be included in the new Lightning Lane Multipass system. So here, think about Guardians of the Galaxy, Tron, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Avatar, Flight of Passage, and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. The prices for these rides do vary from park to park and day to day, and most likely is based on how busy the parks are on any given day. In the new system, instead of being called individual lightning lanes, they will now be called lightning lane single pass. And similar to Disney Genie Plus, you'll make your lightning lane multi-pass and your lightning lane single pass purchases through your My Disney Experience app. And so what about Disneyland? According to the Disneyland website, nothing much will change for our California cousins, except for a name change. So where does this leave the Disney fan? Speaking as the planner in our family to the planner in your family, I'm hoping that these changes will bring about three things. First, a little less stress. We'll be able to plan our vacation before we arrive at our vacation. Deciding which parks, on which days, and where we'll eat and all of the things just got easier. It'll all be sorted before I step foot on property. Next, I'm hoping that I can spend a little less time on my phone scrolling and that stacking lightning lanes just got a whole lot easier with three already in the hopper. And then I'm hoping we'll get a little more spontaneity in our vacation. We will have nailed down the things that we most want to do in advance, leaving room for some Disney magic. So is the lightning lane multi-pass and the lightning lane single pass the winning combination that we've all been waiting for? Only time will tell, but it does sound like it has the potential to make our Disney experience smoother and more enjoyable. So what do you think? Is this going to improve our in-park experience? Let us know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to trying it all out on our next trip and we'll document it to share it all with you. In the meantime, if you're watching this, I know you're a hardcore Disney fan. Check out our Disney playlists. I'll link them for you below. I hope that you found this video helpful for planning your next Disney trip. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventures take you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now.